Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the Tech by Ear Tech. This video will discuss about the QC run. How to get a QC at first run. That's the topic. And what are the important points to check before running a QC? To get a good results, the instrument should be in good condition. Check the daily maintenance of the instrument and the weekly maintenance. Check the cleaning solution, rinse and all the instrument reagents. Everybody wants to get a QC at first run. Inadequate reagents can form air bubbles while changing middle of the run. We will have a separate video on the working principle of biochemistry analysis and the maintenance of the instrument. Test reagents. Check the test reagent level. Automated instruments can check the reagent levels and calculate how many tests it can run. Low level reagent must be loaded with second set of cartridges. Make sure to check the lot number. If new lot number, calibration must be done before running the QC. If Two sets of reagents are present for same test. QC should be done on both reagents to run the patient samples. Discard any expired reagents and validity expired reagents are expiring within 7 hours because QC is done once in 8 hours normally. Calibration. The calibration of an analyte is an important factor in getting good QC results and the test results. Please watch calibration in the medical lab video in this channel to understand better. Make a list of analytes to be calibrated before running a QC. New reagents, stability expired calibrations, new lot number of a reagent must be calibrated. Check previous QC graph of each analyte and each QC levels and make a decision to calibrate. Here are some of the examples needs to be calibrated. Also check previous QC run of all three levels and make a list of analytes that needs to be calibrated again. Here are some of the examples. Calibration preparation. Use volumetric pipettes to prepare from the lyophilized calibrators. Make sure you use a new distilled water to avoid contamination from distilled water. After adding distilled water, leave at least 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. Then gently mix and you can use the calibrators. Always write the time and date of preparation. Change the distilled water in the instrument used for calibration. Contaminated distilled water can make your QC to fail. We will make another video of reasons for calibration failures. Next is the QC material. How often to run the QC? Many labs have their QC policy of running every 8 hours. That is every shift. Each shift they run a QC. There are 3 levels of QC materials available for each analyte low level, normal and high level. This may be internal QC that is made by their own lab or commercially available QC materials. Most of the labs use commercially available materials even though these companies provide the range and mean values always run many times to establish your own mean and ST value and prepare a Levigenes chart before start using them. Each instrument methodology are different. The reagents used are different. So the results may vary. So make your own Levigenes chart. Many labs run only two levels of QC among three levels at a time. But make sure all three levels are run in 24 hours time. Since the QC materials are expensive, they follow this method. If your calibrations are good and QCs are within the range, 
any external QCs can be run without any additional precautions. External QC materials must be treated like a patient samples. QC material are ready to use and some may need preparation. Always maintain the cold chain from the time it is received in the lab. To get a good QC results at first run needs lot of preparation and time. Do not run QC with faulty instruments, reagents, calibrators and QC materials that can consume lot of time and expensive reagents, calibration and QC materials. We will have another video about the reasons for calibration failures and QC failures. Please do write your comments to make more videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.